Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Hi. Thank you. And you? I am very hot. It's hot today, no? Yes, it is. It's incredible. All right, so we have, hello, Boris, how are you? Good teacher. Hey, what happened with Panama, United States? At the United States? Yeah, Panama, the soccer game today. Oh, I couldn't see the, the, the game. Oh, it's 1-1, one, one. wow. 1-1, one, one. yeah. I, I I can say too. Uh, it's war. It's war. Yeah. It's a war day. <laughs> yeah, but remember, yeah. It's warm or it's hot. Hot is like more. More. Oh. Temperature is really high today. Oh, yes. It's very high today. Did you see uh, the, the games of El Salvador? Uh, there is something a little weird that happened in that game. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know if it's a medical assistant that a uh, she took a dog to Colombia. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, Colombo. Colombo, yes. That is the name of the dog. Yeah, I saw that. I think that uh, some type people, uh, stranger people, uh, get, us, get us a, a good message for, for the Salvadorian people. Exactly, yes, it's true. It's true. I'm, I'm checking one thing. Let me see if the... um. In my job, I have some partners that they don't like animals. They don't? They don't like... Uh, well, I have you know, been told, you I know, have been talking with them. Uh huh. Um, well, try to convince them that uh, if I don't like animals, but I don't try to to harm them. Me too. Me too. I I don't like animals, but I I respect animals. Okay. I don't like animals because they give me allergies. Oh. And um, but I do respect them. I will never do anything bad to an animal. To get a reaction from the animals. Yes. Hold on, excuse me. Okay, so I see the majority of the people are here. Okay, the majority of there's Claudia. There's Hi, Claudia. good evening. Hi, good evening. There's also the other Claudia. She's moving around. There's Allison. She just took a shower, I think. <laughs> yes, teacher. And there is Dennis. Hey, Dennis, I remember you like movies, right? Mm, yes. I do. And you like good movies with good actors, right? You know, there's an interesting movie. I was watching the trailer yesterday. And um, 
um, Napoleon with River Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, really? What's you know, the name? Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, really? Yeah, it's going to be good, huh? Nice. I'm going to take note. Yeah, watch the trailer. I, I saw it yesterday. And it's available, I don't know, in... Do you know which no, platform? It's, no, it's in November. It's it's it's, it's in oh. November this year. But, okay. But, but I think it's going to be interesting because I mean, Napoleon Bonaparte was a very interesting per, um, character, and Joaquin Phoenix is an excellent actor. Ah, really good. So it's going to be, yeah. I imagine it's going to be a very very good movie. Nice. Thank you for the recommendation. I'm always looking up for good movies sometimes actually i follow several uh twitter account where they do recommend movies so uh, it it's it's funny because sometimes the, the title is like those are the this is a let's these are the best movies or stuff like that you know that you that you must watch once in a life and yeah, I take the list and I start watching. Let's see where where is this this one available and start watching. And sometimes I get disappointed because sometimes they are not that good. But yeah, yeah, yeah I have found a lot of different movies uh, and I always have a list. I have a queue where I'm going to see. Uh, okay, tonight I'm gonna look out for this one. So have you ever is... have you ever seen a uh, Lost in Translation? I, I yeah, think it, I, I think Spanish think... has perdido in Tokyo. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I with I think there is a story about this. Let me see. I think that is from the wife of of Joaquin Phoenix or the the director. I think that there is a story with with that one and her. No, it's Coppola. It's the it's the daughter of of Francis Coppola. The movie no, but, is but, with Bill Murray and um, Scarlett Johansson. Exactly, but 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 actually, there is a story about about that one and her, the director. I oh, think really? they used to be a wife and husband. Oh yeah, it's true. Uh, you, yeah. You're talking about her in the movie, correct? Her the movie exactly. And if you see, both of them use Scarlett Johansson, but in her they use only the boys. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson, but movie. there is a story, and those movies have a, a contrast about both stories. Yeah, yeah. because I, actually, I I I saw the movie, and I start looking up for how do you say um well uh, opinions opinions about the movie, and I found that story that. Uh, uh, both directors are used to be husband and, oh, and okay. wife. Yeah, and actually, it's really interesting the story and and, and the analysis that I found uh, match with. Yeah, because a lot I, of I know things. I know that that for um for the movie Lost in Translation is Sofia Coppola, the, the, the director. The director, exactly. And if you see, so she her was husband, the wife. Oh, okay, so her husband was the director for for her. her. Oh, okay, hey, interesting. Yeah, really good. Do you follow Rotten, Rotten Tomato? Yes, I actually I like Rotten Tomato because I think I think it's there. I I trust Rotten Tomato more. That's a good question, Dennis. Do you follow Rotten Tomatoes? No, nope. Is that a Twitter account? No, actually, rotten. What is rotten tomatoes? Who said that, Allison? No, me, Claudia. Oh, Claudia. It's a page of recommendations. In critics. Let me see if mm -hmm. I can. Rotten tomatoes. Yes, it's it's critics okay. about every movie, and what I like about that oh. page is that it tells you the critics and what people evaluate the movie. Okay. So, like, you will see in the like sometimes it says. Some movies will say this got a eighty percent in Rotten Tomato. So, nandan compaja para criticar. Claudia, do you know why it's called Rotten Tomatoes? 
No, really. Do you know? Yes. The expression rotten tomato comes because a long time ago in, I don't know, in the 1800s. And you know how there was no movies back then. So there were like shows, plays. Obras, habían obras, right? The theater. The theater, the theater. yes. Huh. So when they weren't good. A play. <laughs> uh, when they weren't good, people used to take rotten tomatoes to throw it at them. <laughs> that's funny. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. That, that's why rotten tomatoes. You know, like, oh, you suck. <laughs> and then imagine they throw rotten tomatoes. Hey, teacher, but going back to the lost in, 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 in Tokyo. Lost um, in translation. Lo lost in translation, yeah. At the end, I, li I like the movie because it's not the typical yeah. romance movie. So at the end, he just went back to the girl and he kissed her. So at the end, that was the finish. So the end of, of the movie. So I was, what's going on? So I, I, I was waiting for something else, but was really good was really good you know you know i found a, i found a page where they actually you you actually know what he tells her oh really yes there's this fan page oh man and there's a translation remember the part when he's when he's doing the commercial and then the Chinese, the director ah, exactly and he, he and didn't then, uh -huh. And then she just said, okay, uh, smile more. And he said, really? That's all he said? Exactly. <laughs> because it was a big conversation. And there's that part they actually translated in, in closed caption. It's, it's good, man. Um, nice. Yeah, if I find a link, I will see. Because um, that that's the thing at the end. You know, what, what did he tell her? Exactly. What? Yeah. But I believe he told her, like, I got to go, but we will see each other again. Everything's going to be fine. Something like that. Mm. Man, I oh, love okay. that movie. That was good. Cool. Uh, yeah. Have you seen that movie, Claudia? Oh, she's not there. I really miss watching good movies. Because yeah, sometimes it, it, it's hard to find a, a a good movie that at the end you said you you feel that 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 field of satisfaction so that you still are thinking about the movie at the end. Yeah, um, that's what I miss about being single. I remember when I was single and I lived alone, I used to watch all the movies I wanted. But when you're married, it's more difficult because, you know, my wife, she likes watching those chick flicks. Do you know what a chick flicks? No. It's uh, maybe a couple that they uh, get uh, at the Asian. <laughs> no, chick flicks. Chick flicks uh -huh. is movies for girls. Like, you know, Sex in the City? Oh, uh, yeah. For teenagers? No, not really for teenagers. Yeah, for women, it's like it's like when she's your girlfriend, you have to go to the movies and see that with her, you know, because you pretend to be like supportive. When you're married, you don't watch that movie with her. Yeah, Ooh. that happens. I so, have to watch a series. Why? Huh? Why? <laughs> Those movies are ridiculous. <laughs> no, it it depends because oh. I I I watch movies all of the time with my husband, but right now we don't have children, right? Yeah, that's, and that's good. We have enough time to share. <laughs> no, but you see that that's the problem though. Because okay, that's good because you like the same movies, but with me and my wife was totally different. She likes like chick flicks, and I like strange not strange movies, but I like. I like good movies. I like Me good too. drama, good <laughs> acting. And, oh. and if I watch that with my wife, she, oh, I can't really change it. Or she starts asking me too many questions. You know, 
And let me tell you why sex in the city is bad. I remember I was dating. I yeah, this was so ridiculous. I, you know, I, I was dating my wife, you know, Landaba Cayendo. So I took her to watch that Sex in the Sex in the City movie. Oh my God, you know what happened in the movie? The the woman, I think I remember the woman, she went on a vacation and she had an affair. Do you know what is an affair? No. Una aventura, una aventura. aventura. Yeah. Mm. And she felt bad. So when she returned, she told her husband or her boyfriend. Hey. Yeah. You know what he did? He what? went, he went and bought her a diamond ring. And he says, it's not your fault. It's my nah. fault. I promise you. Uh-uh. Yeah, he said, it's my fault because if you were unfaithful to me, it's because I didn't take care of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I no. was like, oh my God. <laughs> that, that all the girls at the end are dreaming like, with, oh, to how have that. Sweet. <laughs> what kind <Nah>. of soup? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen Big Bang Theory? Yes, I do. And and the part when uh, Sheldon asked Amy to marry him, mm-hmm. and uh, some hours before, the uh, other girl kissed him. Ramona. Oh, yeah. 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 Ramona. Is, is that? I'm sorry? Which movie is that? No, Big Bang Theory. Ah. You ah. know what? I, I think that show was good, but you know what ruined that show? What? I think what, in my opinion, what ruined that show is when Wallowitz got married. Because he should, because Wallowitz was funny. Siempre conquistando chicas y nunca podía, you know? Like, that was funny <laughs> about him. But when he got married, it's like, he... <laughs> But yo le encanto, you know. And then they have children that nada que ver. I don't know. At the end, they didn't have many good ideas. At the end, but, it was only Sheldon and, and Penny. Ellos mantuvieron el show. No. Yeah, but it's a, good um, show. It's a yeah, it's a good show. It's you know, one of my favorite. You know my favorite show. Did you show? see yes. the mm-hmm. young Sheldon? I saw a couple of of, of um I saw some. You know what is my favorite show and I recommend it to you because it's very interesting class. You should watch that show. It's called Modern Family. Yeah, I, I like that, that. That show is good because because Sofia Vergara No, you know, there. she's she's actually <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you know, it's like a menos me, me gusta in, in, in the show. But um, it's, it, yes, uh-huh. Uh, the, uh, that show when, with Sofia Vergara has a lot of uh, stereotypes. No, and, and also th- in the that's Big Bang Theory has a lot of of I don't know how to say stereotypes uh, about Penny and someone mm. that wants to be uh, an artist and don't have a success. Yeah, but you know that yeah. that that's that's the idea of modern family because it's a modern family in the United States. Here's Sofia Vergara, the beautiful Latina. She marries a rich old man, you know, and this old man he has a a, a daughter and a son. His son is gay. He's married with his husband, and they adopt a child, and they adopt a Vietnamese child. O sea, un grande chong, and um. And it, 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 it's nice because toca todos los temas, <laughs> the stereotypes. But it's a very, very good show. And you know, Dennis, why I think that show is good is because it's unbelievable. The show is about three families. Like, yeah, three families. And each uh, uh, the three families have like five members. And I don't know how. But all the members participate in the show. O sea, it's 30 minutes or 25 minutes. And the the story, it all, they, they, they are all part of the show. You know, like, wow, you should watch it. It's very, very good. Uh, how do you say uh, reportage? No, no, reportage is a un... documentary. Documentary. 
uh, and that 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 show is on a fake yes documental uh -huh. mm -hmm. so it's like a it's like a yeah it's hard to explain it's like a they're following the family's life who is your favorite in in in, in that show Allison I love the father oh uh, well Aaron. El esposo de la hija del Phil. señor. Phil, <laughs> yeah. He's my favorite too, Phil. Porque siempre está enamorado de Sofía Vergara. Huh? Like, Phil, I like Phil and I like Cameron, the fat gay man. Mm -mm, yeah. He's mm -hmm. funny. You should watch that show. I, I was happy because um, Netflix had the ten, the 10 seasons. And then, mm. yeah, no, it had I it. didn't know that. No, they did, like, three, four years ago. And then, mm. look at that. Oh, man. All right, class, let's do a listening experience. Oh, man, Panama and United States are in penalties. La semifinal es Copa de Oro. Nice. Ahí estuviera El Salvador. Pero no. Ganamos experiencia, dicen siempre. ¿Qué opinan de la, de la derrota? Yo no lo veo como derrota. Yo veo que ganamos experiencia. Tienen 40 años de ganar experiencia. Ok, let's do, um, let's do the, um, the listening part. Let me share the sound. Hold on, please. Okay. If this is correct, can you hear? Yes, teacher. All right. Correct. Say yes. yes. B. Listen to Gabriel using an automated phone menu. Is he successful? Check the best summary. Hello. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Please listen carefully to our menu options. If you are calling from a physician's office, say physician. If you need to speak to someone at the pharmacy, say pharmacist. If you are calling to refill a prescription and know your prescription number, say refill. If you wish to hear these options repeated, say repeat. Refill. Using our automated voice recognition system, please say your prescription number which is located in the upper right-hand corner in the pink shaded area. 04227-08837. I heard 04227-08837. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Now say the phone number where you can be reached in case the pharmacist has a question. 555-333-5123. I heard 555-333-5123. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Your refillable prescription will be ready by 8.15 a.m. If you would like to pick it up then, say yes. If you would like to pick it up later, please say later. Later. What time would you like to pick up your prescription? Uh, nine? I'm sorry, I can't understand you. I said nine. I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> understand you. Nine. 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 I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> understand you. Please call again later. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy. 
Goodbye. That makes me mad. Ah! Okay, so number one, it says he completed his business successfully and will pick up his prescription this evening. Um, he can't fill letter his B. prescription. It's letter B. This okay. may, maybe you don't understand this, but in the United States, it's very common that um, the prescriptions, like here, usually we go to El Seguro Social. Here we go to El Seguro Social, you know, and, but in the United States, you just call the local, you, you tell, like, for example, you tell your hospital, you tell this, you tell the um, Seguro Social, imagine, and tell, oh, look, I have a Farmacia Economica, like, around the corner of my house. Oh, okay. So then the Seguro Social sends the medicine there. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, it's not an easy process because no le van a decir, ah, tome. You know, you have to prove, you know, you have to show the prescription and everything. And I think it's a very good idea. I don't know why they don't do it here. It's a long process. Okay, part two, let's listen to this. Listen again. Answer the questions. Hello. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Please listen carefully to our menu options. If you are calling from a physician's office, say physician. If you need to speak to someone at the pharmacy, say pharmacist. If you are calling to refill a prescription and know your prescription number, say refill. If you wish to hear these options repeated, say repeat. Refill. Using our automated voice recognition system, please say your prescription number, which is located in the upper right-hand corner in the pink shaded area. 04227-08837. I heard 04227-08837. Zero, eight, eight, three, seven. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Now say the phone number where you can be reached in case the pharmacist has a question. Five, 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 three, 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 five, one, two, three. I heard five, 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 three, three. Three, five, one, two, three. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Your refillable prescription will be ready by 8.15 a.m. If you would like to pick it up then, say yes. If you would like to pick it up later, please say later. Later. What time would you like to pick up your prescription? Uh... Nine? I'm sorry, I can't understand you. I said nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Nine. 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 I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Please call again later. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy. Goodbye. Ah! <laughs> okay, so what is the name of the story? Dial right pharmacy. Dial right. Dial right. Dial right. Mm. right. Mm. Let's check. R I T E. Yo, yo diría que hubiera sido right, pero no por derecho, sino right for correct. Dial right pharmacy. Because remember, that's what he was having the problems with, with the dialing. 
What is the prescription number? His prescription number is 0422708837. If you ever work in a call center, I really recommend you to always have a pen and paper because um, gringos are very, very fast to talk. Like for example, Hello, thank you for calling the pharmacy. Hi, my name is David Baltrons. That's B-A-L-T-R-O-N-S. And my phone number is 729-0460. And my, um, the account number is 042270. And you're like, what? <laughs> and if you're not ready, then you have to go, okay, can I have your name, please? I, I gave you my name already. Can I have your phone number? I already said it. So that's quality audit. Sure. Yes. Uh, to be honest, uh, I sometimes have a, a read a, a, a big problem with this kind of platform because I don't know why the answer uh, sometimes is so, uh, a little complicated. You know, um, I will be honest with you, Boris. I don't, I wouldn't really worry about the platform because I think the important thing is that if you understand the class. Why? Because sometimes the platform gives you one option for the answer. And sometimes there are many more. So the the platform is not very friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, don't worry about that. You know, it's no more in class. Don't you know, don't worry. What does he want to pick up? What time does he want to pick up his prescription? At nine. Answers. At nine, he wants to pick up his prescription. At nine, he wants to pick up his... Okay, so that's it. So, uh, da, 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 let's do... Now, simple and complex indirect questions. Welcome back. We have studied this topic before, but today we'll get deeper into it. Get ready. Simple and complex indirect questions. Simple indirect questions use a statement word order and begin with expressions such as I wonder, I would like to know, or I can't understand. Will I be able to get a taxi later? I wonder if I'll be able to get a taxi later. Complex indirect questions also use a statement word order. In addition, they begin and end with clauses or phrases with B. Will I be able to get into the class? My big concern is whether I'll be able to get into the class. How can anyone afford them? How anyone can afford them is beyond me. When we talk about simple indirect questions, we use a statement of word order. Instead of a direct question, will you help me? It changes to, you will help me. But of course, we need to add an expression to make it an indirect question. Some expressions may be, I wonder, I like to know, I can't understand, among many others. So let's add one expression to what we previously had. I'd like to know, you will help me. Notice we left a blank space. That is because we need to use if or whether because the direct question was a yes, no question. So this is the final simple indirect question. I'd like to know if, whether you will help me. In El Salvador it would be, um... As said on the chart, complex indirect questions also follow a statement word order, but they either begin or end with expressions or phrases with B. We want you to type some examples on our discussion box. Remember to put into practice what you have just learned. The chart, complex indirect questions. Okay, first of all, Direct question is, will you help me? Why is that direct? Because the answer is yes or no. Correct? Uh, 
Okay, let's continue. Knowledge check. How can I get tickets to a sold out concert? I want to find out. The answer, I want to find out how I can get tickets to a sold out concert. Okay, so number one, Sulma Beatriz, please. Yes. Can you do number one, please? Yes. I wonder if uh, airlines will ever stop losing passengers' luggage. Good. Suma curiosidad, ¿qué dijo en español? Mm. Este sería que si digamos que si en alguna vez como que la, las aerolíneas dejarán de como de perder los las maletas o el equipaje de los pasajeros. Okay. Me pregunto, me pregunto si alguna vez. La... Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Okay, very good. Yes. I, every time you say I wonder, es me pregunto. I wonder if. Okay, good. Uh, Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos, number two, please. Okay, teacher. Um, number two is I like to know how I correct a mistake on my phone bill. Good. I'd like to know. Yes. I'd, like to know. I'd is a contraction for I would like to know. Okay. Este creo que es más que usamos nosotros en El Salvador. ¿Se acuerdan que es would? ¿Qué les dije que es would? Yeah. 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 Very yeah. good. Y sí o no, cuando ustedes llaman a algún lugar para pedir información, es, hola, um, quería saber si ustedes tienen la información, o oh, quería saber si aún está esa oferta, o quería saber si están abiertos hoy, o quería, ia, 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 right? So okay. this is the most common one in Spanish. I would like to know. Teacher, some people say, quería o quiere. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Aunque está en la directa. Hey, están abiertos hoy. Mm. You know, hey, are you open today? But no, people just say, I, I would like to know if you're open today. All right. Okay, Allison, number three, please. Okay, number three. The thing I don't get is uh, why I can't use my cell phone in an elevator. Okay. And yeah. why we can't? Why we can't use? That's. I think that's not true, but um, it's example. No, no, actually it, it is true depending, like for example, let me give an example, a bank. In a bank, you can use your cell phone. Have you noticed? Now you can, but you can't make a phone call. Correct? Yeah. So I like you in this expression, the thing I don't get, so the thing I don't understand is why why can't I make a phone call from in, inside the bank, but I can use my cell phone. Y saben por qué no se puede usar llamada, hacer llamadas en un banco. No, why? For security. For security reasons. For yeah, but, because it was common. Uh, when someone advise other people, other person outside the bank, and 
and make a robbery. Yes. Like, for example, AE, yeah. there's a lady in red right now. She's taking a lot of money. Follow her. But now Teacher, you can but, use it. You and can you use can text. Messenger. Exactly, mm -hmm. Claudia, you said, but now you can text. So they uh -huh. even, that this expression. The thing I don't get is why can't I make a phone call in a bank? I mean, I can use a cell phone. I can use WhatsApp. I can use internet with my phone. But the thing I don't get is, so why can't I make a phone call? He's going to make sense on security. You go, yeah, but I can text somebody. Hey. Mm -hmm. So maybe in, in this sure, example, I'll say, say yes. In this example is um, you can use the cell phones anywhere except the elevator. Sometimes they're the rules of the house. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yes. Okay. But I don't get it. I don't understand why, but. It's okay. Okay, Jose Sayas, let me explain real quick. There's a logic and there's not something illogical in that logic, right? Let me give you once again the example of a bank. You cannot make a phone call inside a bank because of security reasons. That's logical, sure. correct? Yes, Boris. But that correct. depends the place in the band that you are. Because if you are at the for a client attention, uh, you 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 can uh, make a phone. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know. If that. You need uh, some direction. If you need someone that uh, encourage you uh, uh, with uh, information about uh, that you know they, that these people know you in the past. Oh, okay. Uh, you are trying to, to get a, a, I don't know how to say, prestamo. A loan. A loan, yeah. You, you are trying to, to get a loan. Um, uh, the assistant, he lets you make a phone. Okay, but in, in that case, okay, there are exceptions. Okay. Okay. Let, let me give you another another example, Jose Saez. When you go to the stadium and they okay. check you, imagine you go to a concert and they check you and you have a camera and they tell you, nope, I'm sorry, no puedo entrar the camera. Why? Because no cameras are permitted. But everybody has a cell phone and everybody has a camera in the cell phone. So then, yeah. of course, you will tell the police or the security. But the thing I don't get is, why, why can't I take a camera if everybody has a camera in their cell phone and they will take pictures? Yeah, he said, I can't say that. Como, ah, yo no sé, son las reglas. I watched a okay. video that when people enter to a place, I don't remember where, uh, they put a sticker in, in, in cameras to be sure that the, the people won't take pictures. Oh, really? Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. What I watched is that, you know, there's a famous comedian. I don't know if it's David Chappelle or, no, no, no. Um, there's this group. I mean, yeah, this group started that and then the comedians followed. It didn't logica. I think it was Kevin Hart. Do you know Kevin Hart? No. Comedian? No. Kevin Hart. He's funny. No. Ah, uh, hold on, let's see. Hold on, let me check. Oh. <laughs> do, do, do you see my screen? Yeah, he received a big hit with uh, from another actor. I remember from. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Will Smith. Will Smith. I, I remember that he. 
50 face. No, no, that's not Kevin Hart. That was Chris Rock. Do you see my oh. screen? This is Kevin Hart. Um, he's funny. Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, in his concert, what well, when he does, when he does a show, he doesn't permit cell phones. So he, oh. everybody inside, they have to put their cell phone in a bag and in a deposit. And then they, if they really need to use the cell phone, they, um, they have to, uh, there's a special como capsule mm -hmm. where they, they can go to the deposit and go to that capsule and talk on the phone. But he doesn't permit, he doesn't permit any more. Cell phones. Mm -hmm. And you, do you know why? Because people record his jokes. Copy so wow. It's not that. It, the problem is, imagine he's doing a show in, I don't know, in, in, in California, and people record his show, and they put it on YouTube, and the people who are going to see him in New York, so it's not going to be funny anymore. <laughs> sure. Yes, but actually exists a different kind of gadget that had cameras. Oh, there's many now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Th this example happened to me because one time I my my hobby is I like taking photographs. I really enjoy taking photographs, and um, when I went, I remember I went to a concert and I took my camera. And my camera was like a professional camera. Okay. And the police didn't let me come in with the camera. And I said, why? He says, cameras are not permitted. And I said, no, I understand that, pero si hubiera leído somewhere that cameras are not permitted, but there's nowhere that it says they're not permitted. He says, no, but you can't. And so, But everybody has a camera with their cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> so he told me she could have the key and then hell no. <laughs> um, so camera in a pen, in a glasses. Yes. Or, well, and my, yeah, so mm -hmm. and my camera is like like anywhere. Mm -hmm. In the microphones. Exactly. Drones. Drones are are I was I was um yesterday I think I was watching a, a a video on YouTube that artists are really angry with drones now. Well I I think I think there is a um a YouTube video que dice artistas contra los drones. You see Axel Rose getting angry because they're singing and they have like five drones recording them. And they try to catch them to destroy them. <laughs> So, um, Jose Sayas, do you understand when to use the expression, the thing I don't get is? Yes, you should. I get it. Okay, I'm going to give you one example. Maybe it's stupid, but it's logical. I'm going to give you one example of um, cocaine, marijuana, and liquor. Marijuana. Marijuana is illegal in El Salvador. Correct, Boris? Yes. So if you I, had uh, 20, 20 grams of marijuana, you go to the jail. 20 grams, really? Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't smoke marijuana, but imagine I have 10 grams. It's no problem. It's no problem for consume. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay, but listen to this. Okay, very good. That's a good example. It's illegal to have 20 grams of marijuana because marijuana is bad for you and it's a drug, correct? Yeah. But it is totally legal. But the thing I don't get is that it's totally legal that I can go to a bar tonight and drink 40 or 50 beers and get so drunk 
and get vomit and maybe die that night, and that's legal. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. So I even have the expression. The thing I don't get is. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and many people say that. Porque lo, lo que fuma marihuana, ¿cómo la defiende? Hey, marihuana nunca ha matado a nadie. The cancer, nothing. So, uh, dicen eso. The thing I don't get is, I can get arrested for smoking a cigarette of marijuana, but it's totally legal that I can go to a bar and drink 10, 20, 30 beers. All the beers I can consume hasta que I pass out. And nothing will happen. Hmm. There are medical medical products that have marijuana too. Oh yeah, hmm. yeah. Okay, so do you understand now the expression, Jose Sayas? The thing I don't get. Yes, I'll clear. That's that's what I'm saying. When there's something illogical in something logical. Yes, it's correct. Okay, uh, how can I get tickets to a sold out concert? I want to find out how I can get tickets to a, to a sold out concert. Correct? So when you say, I want to find out how, it's like, it's similar to, I would like to know, correct? Yeah. How can how I can? Mm -hmm. When I was a little kid, I remember I used to visit the United States, and I had a my cousin. He was very smart. We love baseball, and one day he said, "I want to find out how I can meet all the players." And he did find out how he could meet all the players. And we did it. And now, yo uso eso with concerts. You know what my cousin did? He went. No. We used to go to the stadium, but to the parking lot. Donde entraban los jugadores. Okay. You see, everybody is inside the stadium like, hey, hey, give me your autograph. But if, if you are in, in the entrance, they stop like, hey. Have you seen in, in, in um, sometimes you see players like Messi saliendo, entrando un estadio y baja la ventana and he gives autographs. Because that's, if you want to find out how you can meet them, es eso. Go to the parking lot, la parte de atrás. Okay, I like to know is something I can't understand. Now, is something I can't understand is the similar to, to the thing I don't get. Okay. For example, why do people really, man, why do people like Bad Bunny? Is something I can't understand. Or peso pluma. Me neither. Or peso pluma. Y créanme lo intentado. I tried. I tried, really. I go to YouTube and I listen, okay? You know, I go, I put Bad Bunny. I go, next, next, next. And I said, no. What the hell? <laughs> Only by I, the flow. <laughs> yeah. And, and then I, I listen to, like, peso pluma. The only thing I like about Peso Pluma is not Peso Pluma, it's the music, the, 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 um, the musicians, the, 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 they, they play guitar pretty cool, but he has such a terrible voice, stupid music, it's something I can't understand. And the lyrics. <laughs> and the lyrics, yes. Oh, for example, you know, why do people... Why do people complain so much about sex ideology in this moment? This is something I can't understand. It's a political yes. idea. 
but really that's very sad because it's 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 not homophobia it's just logical you know i mean hey, if you're and it's about money it's about money yeah maybe yeah i saw a video in some uh, members of the community lgbtq plus <laughs> uh, they they disagree because uh, for example, Sarah, H&M and other places are selling the brand, like the, I don't know how to say, arcoiris. Uh, the rainbow. Yeah, and they sell a lot and they don't even care about rights of the community. And yeah. it's, like, about, like it's about money. La Despensa Don Juan, they sell Disney products. And I was watching, tenían botas for, for children, botas for, for the uh, rainbow flag. And that's something that gets me mad because it's, it's like they are forcing little children, they are forcing the sex for the little children, you know? So that, that's not correct, especially Disney. You know, Disney year for children, you shouldn't get children involved. <laughs> mm, I I I don't know why uh, they use the 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 arco release. Rainbow. Because I I the rainbow, yes. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I always like colors. Mm. Yeah, I, I used I, to to wear uh, my nails one from each from one color and the other for other color, and think, now it's. I think the rainbow is because of the different colors. It's like, hey, we're all different, but we're the same, uh, something like that. But me yeah, too, but I like the rainbow. When I when I was a child, rainbow was about a happiness yes, and yeah. something like that it's true. yeah it's true i i had a big debate with a friend because he he oh yes she whatever and he says that i am that my generation is homophobic i said no we're not yes you got hey we listened to freddie mercury from queen you don't know him importa that he was gay or not i mean we respect Freddie Mercury, <laughs> uh, Boy George, or George Michael. You know, so they think that it's homophobia. Remember Boy George? Come, 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 chameleon. You come and go. Y eso, ese creo que realmente fue el primero. Cultural club. The culture club, yeah. Yeah. So uh, why why this is a big deal today is something I can't understand. For me, sure for me is, yes, Boris. It's a political war because uh, it's again the ingress of humans in the world because it a man look for a man they don't have children. If a woman no, and, look for and, a woman, and it's true. It's, it's the true. Same. If you notice, there's a in El Salvador and um, Canada. Canada, I think, is the biggest country in the world with the least population because people don't want to have children in Canada. And yes, Boris, uh, this uh, is true. I mean, uh, the 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 population is going to start slowing down a little. Yes. There's one thing called um, un artículo que se llamaba Pink Money. And Pink Money is gay money. Oh. I, I don't know if you remember, pero quien empezó esta moda, it was Katy Perry. Oh. And Lady Gaga. This was like 15 years ago. Remember uh, Katy Perry, I kissed the girl and I liked it. Boom. Uh, that, he <laughs> does a Remember that song? It's a good song. The, the, it is. The it rhythm, is. But, 
Oh, and she's beautiful too. But Katy Perry's popularity went up. Boom. Y después todas salieron. Eh, pink. Que no sabía. Uh, oh. Do you remember when Madonna kissed? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember well, but. With Kiss. Britney Spears. Yeah. Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Uh -huh. no, and uh, then, Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera, sorry. And I think that was a boom. Yes, it was. <laughs> and then, you know, and then after that, after that, Pink Lady Gaga, todas, remember they said openly, oh, I'm bisexual, I'm bisexual. And maybe they're not, but si la están pagando para decirlo, yes. And then, um, y después uh, salió Lady Gaga and then actors. Y Oigan bien esto, Vicente Fernández, el macho de los machos, right? <laughs> Hay un video de él, que él es camionero. Si, sí, busquen en YouTube. Y va, y él habla de que de sol a sol, y empieza a decir todos los departamentos. Soy el chofer. <laughs> yes, uh -huh, something like that. <laughs> If you watch the video, he has a tattoo. Y su tatuaje es un pink heart. Hasta el más macho de los machos cayó en la... en the pink money. And if you see, if you see the cover of the album, is, is um, Vicente Fernández dressed like a charro with a flower y un pose bien... bien gay. <laughs> you know, and... Y uno dice, wow, este Vicente Fernández, man, el más macho de los machos. Hasta él cayó. So. Pero como uh, recently, dijo... Recently, the, the, the last was uh, Cristian Castro. Oh, yeah, but Cristian Castro, I think he has always been gay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you know what? I like Cristian Castro. He's, he's a good singer. Yeah, so that, that's something I, I can't understand. So for me, it's keep it basic. Hey, if you're a man, if you're gay, you're gay. Okay, fine, cool, good for you. If you're a woman, you're a lesbian, good for you. But if you're a man, you're gay, and you think you're a woman, no. <laughs> you're not a woman. You're a man. You're a gay man. But that's something I can't understand now. In the United States, <laughs> ¿cómo han subido los casos de hijos demandando a sus padres por parirlo? It's like, oh my yeah. God, I, I can imagine my mother. Yeah, like, uh huh. Quiero demandan a sus papás porque ellos nunca pidieron venir al mundo. A ese sufrimiento, bla, 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 bla. Pero vamos a la paciencia que también les tienen las leyes allá y todo como hey, I don't remember where. Is legal to to uh, to um, suicidarse, Suicide. pero lo cuenta, ajá, lo cuentan como si fuera eutanasia. Really? Oh, that's interesting. For for psycholo, psych, psychological, no, I don't know how to say psicológicas, but for problemas but... psicológicos. Yeah, but When listen. Someone has a chain from other. But if, but um, I imagine there's a procedure for the suicide, no? Uh, nope. Yes, it just you just have to have a depression or. The, uh, no, 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 some... no. The procedure, the procedure is like okay, but I have to suicide in a hospital, or yes, yes, okay. with a injection. Yes. What was the mm -hmm. name of that doctor, el doctor de la muerte? Que... Now, now I understand them. But before, no, él, él le daba inyecciones a sus pacientes para que se queden suicidar. What was his name? Yeah, he he yeah. But you know, I mean, imagine if you have cancer and you're dying and you're really suffering. And I'm telling you this because my father and my mother died of cancer. Really, really bad. So I am very positive that I will die of cancer because that's hereditary. 
but I remember my mother and my father, how they suffered. I don't want to suffer like that, really. And I don't want my, I don't want my son to suffer because I am suffering. So I, I would, if I had the, uh, the, the chance, I would suicide too. So now I understand this doctor. Do you know how to say eutanasia in English? No, you know what? Let me find out for you. Uh, ensuring Salvador is prohibited uh, to help some, uh, help to, to get die. Yeah. Here is prohibited. Yes, it is. Yeah. But in, I knew a case of a woman that uh, she requests to have an abortion because of medical issues. And uh, then she had a natural abortion. So the... A natural here, abortion is called miscarriage. A miscarriage. So la, la policía, no sé cómo el gobierno, thought that it was eh, que fue a propósito. Oh, I think and I then, remember that case. And then, uh -huh, yeah, and then the, the, the woman died in, in the, the family was uh, demandando, I don't know what to say, demandando Suing. To, uh -huh. the, to the government. Yeah, I think I remember that case. Yeah, but in international uh, tribunales, I don't know yeah, what to say, tribunales. In the international, yeah, in the international um, case. Yes. Judge, yes. But you know what, um, Allison, really, honestly, I think the problem is like, for example, the government in El Salvador now, some jóvenes, they, they are young, so they understand more the situation. So they are more open mind. But the problem is that in El Salvador, many, many people are still very religious. So they think religion before antes que nada, you know? Yes. Like if a woman fue violada por 10 hombres y sale embarazada, of course, um, Y tiene tres días, sí, abortarlo, man. But no, people, uh, think, oh, no, it's a criatura de Dios. Y blah, 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 blah. Y I a... didn't it's agree a... with abortion before, but now I prefer the abortion instead of having a kid eh, sufriendo, suffering. Yeah, but, I, I uh, think that that, yeah. that that topic is very, yeah, but I don't respect a woman that, She's going to have an abortion because oh I don't love my boyfriend anymore and that, no that's you you're a stupid person but if there's like an accident if your child is coming with Down syndrome if you like Down syndrome is not too bad there there are worse things no but Down syndrome is very bad not because the baby is Down syndrome the problem is imagine if you have to work and this the a Down syndrome baby is a special care 24 hours a day, 24 hours. Mm, if you, if yeah, you have... but and now uh, that was before because the psychology didn't understand uh, the, the that they were different, and now are some person with uh, Down syndrome and that has a normal life. No, I'm and not talking. I'm not talking. I'm not, ta I'm not talking about the Down syndrome itself. I'm talking about your economic capacity. If you have the money, yes, okay, no problem. You can pay specialists. You can pay special people to take care of your child. Yes, but what about when you're really, really poor and you have to work because you have other two children? That's a problem. But you know, I mean, it depends. It's, it's a very the. Um, I have a. One of my neighbors, her child is Down syndrome, and they uh, they had the woman and the man. Para empezar la dejó el marido, maldito, because the child was a Down syndrome. So now this woman, it was very difficult because she needed to pay special. In El Salvador, we don't have that support, you know, special education. 
So she had to pay somebody to take care of her child. And she does. And, and this and that. And she makes good money. And it's still not enough. I said, she lives very, very, very limited because all her money goes to her. She's an excellent mother. I really respect her. Pero me quedo, wow, que maldito el esposo. And I always tell her, demandelo, topelo, pero no. You know what she says? Dios lo va a juzgar. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yes, you know. Le está quitando un derecho de el yes. niño o niña. Uh -huh. Yes, poor woman, man. I, I, I really, yes. So the thing I don't get is that. Um, That's the other thing that I hate when when a mother don't want to to support don't want support of a uh, miss father yes it's and stupid. that's the stupid because it's not your right it's your son's or daughter right hey you know my wife she has a friend that her friend had a daughter right her daughter is i don't know 18 or 20 or something but The father of this girl, he never gave money. Never, never, never gave money to the mother. And the mother, had a, like you say, you know, like, no, no. Prefiero mi orgullo, blah, 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 blah. But the daughter, she was más inteligente. She says, okay, si no lo topa vos, lo voy a topar yo. So she went and, and she says, look, I need money for my university. <laughs> he has never given me money. Y lo toparon and he paid his Her complete university. Bravo, Ilka. He played her complete university. I feel really happy right now. <laughs> and yeah, and you know what she did? At the end, when she got, and now she's a she's a doctor. At the end, she just said, "Hey, gracias, bye." <laughs> she really hated her father, but she took advantage and she made she obligated him to pay her university because he was I... paying. I have a sister that yes. is from my father, but not from my mother. And so she is she is your stepsister. Yeah, my stepsister. And uh, her mother, uh, be, I, I don't know why he go to the familiar judge, judge and then she she changed the name of my sister oh really yeah and the last name so my sister doesn't have the my last name okay and legal she is a daughter from her actual husband Oh, nice. and and he and she never participated of of the of crianza <laughs> of my sister. My father paid paid for everything, and he, she grew up with my with my uh, grandmother. Oh, interesting! <laughs> interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's that's because when my uh, my father was a. Uh, uh, soldado in the war civil war and when he went to visit uh, my sister uh, she, he found uh, my sister eating earth dirt dirt <laughs> yeah and he, he he just take my sister and tell the her mother i will me la voy a llevar and he se la llevó yeah he took her nice and she nunca le importó mi hermana yeah that's <laughs> typical stories the, the strange thing here is that it's the mother it's normally the father but you know but like i said i think i think one of the biggest problems in el salvador really is the mentality and, and I think people have to have to put religion apart when it comes to something logical I uh, before we finish I had a friend 
my friend, her uncle was a big drug user. He raped my friend and she was crying because, you know, she came to me. And I said, look, you have two options because she got pregnant. And I told her, look, I really think that you imagine, okay, the, this kid is your blood. Maybe the child could be sick with Down syndrome because la misma sangre. Mm -hmm. Number two, imagine if you maybe, maybe you hate the baby because of what happened to you psychologically. And number three, todos te van a decir, no, es a criatura de Dios, es el pecado, blah, 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 pero nadie te va a ayudar. Mm -hmm. So, it's your option. And, and she did have an abortion. But she was only, what, two or three days pregnant. So for me, that was okay. You know. Y, y cuando le dijo a la abuela que la violó el tío, ya dicen que dijo a la abuela. How is that possible? Eso es pecado. ¿Cómo ha que decir eso a mi hijo? Blah, blah. So then the grandmother believed uh, la, la de Cerro. So it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, cultural thing so what i'm saying that maybe the government today maybe maybe they are a little more open-minded but they gotta be very intelligent because they know that the majority of the people in el salvador are also very squared bueno no se acuerdan funes cuando iba para presidente que ni estaba casado y se fue a casar a todas las iglesias porque la gente ah no Si no está casado, no, no. y ahí se fue a casar con Toby, con Monseñor, no sé. He got married in all the churches because that's what people want in Latin America. They want, mm. they want. Yes. Mm -hmm. in, Latin, in Latin America. And after, that, and after that, people forgot that he was married before. Yes, I remember, I remember, uh, they, they so quisieron dar a Buchan, I remember que está Iván you know they tried they tried to get him with a religion but you know so i i think that's the biggest problem in el salvador in this moment and that's what i don't get all right so um listen we'll continue tomorrow and uh, i will separate you in groups tomorrow the bottom tema the thing i don't understand the thing i don't get is why Por ejemplo, si le digo a alguien, hey, la selecta. Oh, man. The thing I don't understand is why do we still keep on watching la selecta if they always lose? You know, la selecta que siempre nos vemos aunque sabemos que van a perder. When they have a good coach, they, they fired. No, I, it's not the coach. We don't have good players. That's it. Because we have many good coaches and still we don't have good players. But th that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Okay. Like the thing I don't understand, the thing I don't get. Okay. So I will see you okay. tomorrow. Have a very, very good evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye everybody.